Wait, a competitor to Sherlock Holmes? Who oh, no. knew? Yeah, we're ready. Quiet on the set. Five, stand four, by five, four, one, stand four, by two, one. Stand by two, one. Stand by two, one. Stand by two, one. An overused plot line that feels new and exciting? That's how I feel about seasons one and two of the French TV series on Netflix, Lupin. According to Wikipedia, 70, that's 70 million people watched Lupin in its first month, making it the most watched non-English series on Netflix. And with good reason. The series is about a Saint Diop played by Omar Sy, who seeks revenge on a family that 25 years earlier frames his father for presumably stealing an expensive diamond necklace. Asain's father is ashamed of what happened and hangs himself. Ouch. Asain grows up an orphan, but is inspired by a famous series of books about a so-called gentleman thief. Arsène Lupin. Lupin is a fictional character with high intelligence and a knack for fooling people. He's kind of the opposite of Sherlock Holmes. Whereas Holmes is a genius detective who solves crimes, Lupin is a genius thief and con man who commits the crimes, but often in service to the downtrodden. Kind of like Robin Hood. And it's Lupin who inspires a Saint Diop to use the same tactics. Breaking into jail and escaping jail, putting on disguises, using the media to manipulate the authorities, etc. All to avenge his father's untimely death. The acting is superb. Omar Sy is able to flip from character to character within split seconds, depending on the disguise he is using. He portrays all emotions, from sadness to love to fear to happiness and everything in between. He is the perfect actor for this role. Honorable mention goes to Mamado Haidara who plays the young Asain Diop in flashbacks. Those historical moments that we see help explain how Asain developed into the gentleman thief of his adult years. There's even a sequence that explores racist attitudes against blacks. And those scenes take on intense meanings for me in today's American culture, where we people who look white Technically, I am Latino, but a white Latino. We people who look white struggle to see hidden racism in our own neighborhoods. And for the rest of my usual categories, thumbs up. Audio and music are excellent. Special effects, excellent. Color grading, excellent. The script somehow takes an overused story idea and keeps it interesting from episode to episode spanning two very short seasons. I rate the Lupin series a 9 and possibly a 9.5. My only negative critique is that the seasons aren't longer. But Wikipedia tells us that Netflix has renewed the series for a third season. That tells us a lot about the quality of the series and the fact that it has kept tens of millions of people around the world interested and wanting more. And I can't wait for the third season. So stop watching this review. Go watch this series if you haven't already. You will not be disappointed. And watch it in the original French audio and English subtitles. That way you get the full impact of the production. As always, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and tell me what you thought about this review in the comments below. And I'll see you in Ramon's first take movie reviews. Goodbye.